Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. So as you can see, in not my normal setting, we are actually going over to Lowe's um, to pick up a Christmas tree. Um, so what we're actually going to do is go pick up our Christmas tree. Um, I'm going to show y'all which one we're going to pick out, look at all the different trees. And then we are going to come home and decorate the Christmas tree with all of our Disney ornaments. So stay tuned. Look forward to that. And I will see y'all in a little bit whenever we get the tree. So we are here at Lowe's. Um, for the past like four years, we have been coming to Lowe's. I think it's like four or five years, right? Four or five years to get to, um, to come get a Christmas tree. Um, we went to a new place this year to look for Christmas trees and the cheapest tree was like $125. So, um, as you can see, there's the trees. There's a tree stand there. Um, the tree's tent. Um, I'm looking forward to getting a tree. I'm, I've been trying to get a tree since December 1st, but haven't been that lucky. So today is the day. Let's go inside. Let's go get a tree. Um, get on top of the car and let's get home so we can start decorating. All right, so we're inside. Six to under seven foot trees are $54.98. That seems a lot more than last year. I do this to myself. Um, I'll turn y'all around so y'all can see. Here's the trees, our options. There's a lot of different trees here. I think what we're gonna just, we're deciding on is like a six foot tree, a six to under a seven foot tree, just because we have like an eight foot roof in the place where the tree is gonna go. So we're thinking like a six foot to under a seven foot. That's a seven foot to under eight. Why is a seven to under eight the same price as a six to under seven? Questions. This tree is so, ow. <clears throat> this tree is so pretty, look. The seam, there's the tree. Okay, so I think we picked the tree that we want. Um, we are going with a different brand this time, or a different type of tree. Um, it's called a Douglas fir instead of a Fraser fir. Um, it looks like a fake tree, but it looks, it's real. All right, so that took a lot less time than I thought it was going to, um, thankfully. We picked out our tree. Again, like I said earlier, we got a Douglas fir, I think is what it's called, instead of a Fraser fir. Um, it's a live tree, but it looks like a fake tree does whenever it's fully out. Um, it's a lot fuller, it seems, and it is very pretty. So, we have it on top of the car. I'm going to not drive like I normally do and drive a million miles an hour and just try to get home safe and get the tree home in one piece. So once we get home, um, we're gonna get it all shaked out or, or shook out. We're gonna get um, everything taken care of. And then when we get it on the stand and we start decorating, I will come back to y'all and we will get all the Christmas decorations on there and Christmas ornaments. Okay, so I lied. We are currently at Guitar Center because my brother had to come inside and get his string, which is right around the corner from Lowe's. Um, but I wanted to get on here really quick because I wanted to ask, do y'all get um, live trees? Like do y'all prefer a live tree or do you prefer a fake tree? Because personally, I prefer a live tree. I think they're prettier. I think they look more natural. Um, they look more like they're like wild. Like the real the fake trees are just too perfect. They're just too cylinder um, they're too perfect looking, so I prefer to get I prefer to get a real tree. Um, like I said in the Christmas tag on day seven, was that we have had a fake tree all of our lives, but then we just recently, like four or five years ago, we started getting a real tree because I was like, you know what, I want a real tree. Um, we never had them, 
and I really want one. So we started doing that. So let me leave, leave me a comment down below if you prefer the real tree or a fake tree. Um, how many do you have? Which fair kind? And uh, do you like green? Do you like silver? What do you what do you what do you prefer? Okay, so we're home. As you can see, I skipped a step. I didn't record actually putting the tree up because it was very stressful. It was very anxiety filled. It was very stressful. Put this tree up because the dude at Lowe's didn't cut the trunk of the tree straight. So we would tighten the screws that would go in the actual tree stand and it would just kept falling over. So we did all of that stressfulness and then we put the lights up. I did the colored lights and I also did the white lights um, on the tree. And then I put one ornament up at the top. Yes, you can see this one right here. It's the Disney store um, exclusive ornament. It is for uh, 2019, it has Mickey and Minnie and like a glass dome, but the two ornaments that I wanted to do first this year were two ornaments that I just picked up yesterday that needed to go on the tree because I went to the Disney store yesterday and picked up some new ornaments because all of their ornaments were $8. They're all from, they're all down from like $20 and $17. All the way down to eight dollars, which I've I have bought probably like four or five of their ornaments already, and they're all regular priced. So I was kind of bummed when I went in to see they were cheaper, but I wanted to. Um, oh wait, I'm holding the wrong one. One second. Okay, so I picked up two ornaments from the Disney store for eight dollars a piece, and they're both Frozen themed because why not? Why else? Um, I did pick up. The Olaf in the glass dome. Um, again, all these ornaments were $8. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Um, it's pretty cute. It's him dancing around in leaves and stuff. Let's go ahead and put that there. And then the second ornament that I picked up was actually this Elsa ornament right here. Um, So that will be playing in the house all day long and all the time. I'm mean, just gonna walk by the tree and just press the button. But I'm also gonna go up high because it's Elsa and she needs protection. Okay, so majority of the ornaments that we have in our house, um, just from collecting over the past couple years, have all been Disney themed. So every year, as a family, we go down to Disney. We go down to basically Orlando and go down to Disney Springs because we like to get ornaments as a family. We get one ornament for the household and then we also get one ornament for each kid. So there's four of us in the family, there's four kids, four siblings, and everybody gets an ornament that we pick and we do a multi-pack. Um, so just some of the ones we've gotten from the past couple of years have been, we did get these. This one is just one of the four. It is Donald. There's also, I think there was Goofy and then there was Mickey and Minnie. Um, we got this one, which is Valentine's Day. There was four in that set that were um, different holidays. So there was like St. Patrick's Day, there was Halloween, there was 4th of July, and then there was Valentine's Day. We also picked up these, which are kind of cool. These are the main landmarks from the different um, theme parks. And then we also got just some regular colored ones, which are just normal colors. They were like blue, red, yellow, and green, or bluey, red, purple, orange, and green, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick those on the tree. The tree of life on the tree of Christmas. Need one. It's Mickey's head as a jack lantern, which is adorable. Oh, there's also a <laughs> there's also a Mickey Mouse foot issue. And those are all gonna go up. And we also got these, which one of these got broken this year. So now we only have three. My father's sitting right there. So make him feel bad in the comments because he broke these. So like one year without breaking like seven ornaments. I don't, I don't understand. We try every year. See, here's two and three. There's two and three. 
four is broken and it's gone forever. So that's a bummer. So this is the, we picked this up, I think last year, or the year before we got this from the Fort Wilderness Lodge or we may have got it from Disney Springs. My mom liked it, but um, it, I guess he's dressed like Davy Crockett. So that's cute. I said I was talking to y'all about. This is one we got from two years ago. Um, ignore that little crack right there. It was broken, but it got re-glued. Um, 2017, this is our one we got as a collective family from last year. Or from two years ago. Two years ago, I mean. Stupid. I don't know if you know this about me, but I used to be a duck hunter. So this is a ornament from years and years and years ago. Um, we don't really hunt that much anymore, but it still goes up because it's cute. So we got just a regular Christmas Mickey Mouse ornament that's gonna go up on the tree as well. He's super cute. I don't know if I've ever told this story on the channel yet, but um, two years ago, the Last Jedi came out the, the from Star Wars series. And uh, me and my brother were actually at the Galactic Nights. So on Christmas of last year, or Christmas of two years ago, um, we were at the Galactic Nights opening uh, event. So it's the first ever Galactic Night that ever came out at Hollywood Studios because The Last Jedi was coming out. Um, they were giving out ornaments. So this is for the opening weekend 2017, and then it also has The Last Jedi on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go, Star Wars The Last Jedi. And then it also has opening weekend on it. The ones we got as a group. This is our individual one, this is for my brother Jeffrey. Um, you press the button, BB-8 lights up. It's really cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go away for a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the tree. And then when I get the tree done, I will do a zoom in video of that so y'all can see everything all in together, everything together, so it's really pretty. Um, so I'll be right back, don't go anywhere, and I'll show you the tree in a little bit. So we just got done decorating. Um, it's very hot in my house, I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the tree, the finished product. We have probably like what, 50 ornaments on this tree right now <clears throat> and like 95% of them are Christmas or Disney so start from the bottom and work our way up we have family ornaments on here we also have Disney ornaments on here and then Disney ornaments from family trips that we got together it's right here there's the Jungle Cruise there's the monorail, there's Olaf from earlier, there's Elsa, there's the bus, Disney Transportation at its finest, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse's glove, Mickey Mouse's head is right here, and then there's Hollywood Studios, MGM Studios, there is an Epcot Spaceship Earth right down there. Then there is the Tree of Life. Merida's up here protected so she can't fall off and buy and die. She's back up in there. That is one of my two Merida pot, my, new, my two Merida uh, ornaments. There's the castle, Cinderella's castle. And then there's the tree. It's so pretty. So thank you for coming along with me to get my Christmas tree and decorate my Christmas tree. I had a lot of fun. I sweated a lot, so yay for Florida winter. If you like these types of videos, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And then also make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can come along with my YouTube journey and join my YouTube family. As always, thank you so much for being here and let's go to Disney.